So, by the time we're recording this, the presidential election is currently ongoing. Meanwhile, in my room, we're playing a video game of Danganronpa. <laughs> hey guys, it's Base Senior 313 here, and I clearly have my priorities straight right here. Uh, regardless, I probably don't even care about the results because of how much America's gonna get fucked regardless, so... I'm just... I guess I'm just here along with the sinking ship. But, to, uh... Get my uh, ideas and uh, array of politics out of the way. Let's just get some to something entertaining that to at least ease the pain. <laughs> Alright. Wow, this is a very... Whoa. Byakuya and Makoto showed up together. Uh. Where the heck have you two been? You just disappeared without a word. Hmm. We were investigating, of course. How could you not figure that out by this point? <laughs> We could have ranked high enough for you guys to go off together, just the two of you. What? Are you jealous? Hey. Or are you making up some kind of creepy fantasy for yourself? What? Stop talking and brace yourself. He'll be here any second. Alright. Any second. Just the five of us. With a missing student as well. He could show up at any time. When I imagined what was about to happen, I immediately tensed up and prepared myself. And the phone's ringing, goddammit. But... We stood there for five full minutes waiting for something weird to happen. And then five minutes became ten. Why? What's going on here? Why hasn't Monokuma showed up yet? Could it be... Maybe he died again? <laughs> Uh, maybe, who knows, I wish. <laughs> what should we do? Should we just keep waiting here, or...? <laughs> or what? Oh god, I sound like a smoker lady. JESUS! No! Yeah. <laughs> oh, did I scare you? I should probably not be loud, considering how it's nighttime right now. I demand an explanation! Why did you waste my time and make me wait like that? Hmm? What? I made you wait? You've got it all backwards! You're the ones making me wait! Huh? In other words... I'm waiting for everyone to arrive! We can't start till everyone's here now, can I? Can we? Mm -hmm. What are you t t talking about? Everyone is here! We've been uh, waiting for you! The thing is... Uh, what's her face? Shit, I already forgot. Kyoko is not here! And... Uh, presumably she's still alive, considering how the... We kind of, like, deciphered that the victim is actually the, uh... Whatchamacallit? The, uh... The other hidden student. <laughs> Boo! Sorry, but you're wrong. <laughs> but I've been waiting ten minutes now, so it's okay. So it's okay if I punish the one making us all wait, right? If we all agree it's a violation, I'll arrange a punishment right now. I'm guessing it's Kyoko. If it's me you're waiting for, I'm here. When we heard that voice, we all spun around to look. Hey. I'm here, and no rule's been broken. Kyoko! Uh. Uh, Kyoko! You're still alive? Uh. No! That's a g g ghost! <laughs> oh, damn it. How the fuck is this man still alive? If you want to fight, do it at the class trial. You need to save some of the fun for later, right? I'm guessing she's doing her own investigation as the time goes by. What? But is it okay that there's no particular penalty for being late? Is that right? I made it here just fine. What school regulation did I violate? Am I wrong? Yeah. Well, let's... Regulations! Because we really need to review all this shit again, but honestly, did she really break a violation? I mean, well, that's a lot of fucking violation. Attempting to break into the law, okay. The guilty party may only kill a maximum of two people, okay. Loan your... Oh, excuse me. Book to another student is strictly prohibited. If the guilty party is not exposed, they alone will graduate. The guilty party is exposed during class. Okay. Takes place. A class trial will begin shortly thereafter. Participating is mandatory for all surviving students. Okay, so it doesn't say anything about being late. All that matters is a class trial. Okay. You're yeah, right, there's no penalty officially, but I'll bet you'll be sorry later. So there's gonna be a new penalty later on or something. Anyway, hustle your butts onto the elevator. I'll be the one just... I'll, I'll be just one step ahead of y'all. Okay. 
when Monokuma was gone, we all rushed up to Kyoko. Kyoko! Ah. So, you really didn't die? Indeed. Of course I didn't die. <laughs> Thank God. I'm so glad you're okay. <laughs> Perhaps. But that's not necessarily a good thing for us. <laughs> He's right with- Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay, okay, Yoshi. Whatever your name is. Yoshi Sidarso. Blue Ranger, take the power. Uh, um... But... It is morphing time! Oh no, I, I can't do a good caveman expression. Uh, anyways, uh, I couldn't help myself. I had to talk to Kyoko before the trial started. Okay. Let's -a go! Listen, before we get started, I have to ask you. Where have you been this whole time? You used, to, you used that key of yours to go somewhere, didn't you? So... I went to investigate the second floor of the dorms. That's right. There aren't any monitors or cameras there, so I was able to avoid Monokuma completely. Of course, I also missed his announcement because of that. Whew. I had no idea a body had been discovered. Then, when did you find out? So... Just now. I finished my search and came back down just in time to hear the class trial announcement. It took some time to go over the crime scene first. I couldn't go to a trial completely uninformed, can I? So that's why you were late. However... I'm sorry I kept you all waiting. But if you were on the second floor of the dorms, then that's what the key you found goes to? Wrong. Actually, to be precise, not quite. In other words... I used Monokuma's secret tool, which can open any lock in the school. Okay. Alright, so I have one last evidence. Hey, what are you two doing? Hurry up before we get in trouble with Monokuma! Okay. Let's deal with the details later in the class trial. Uh, what's... oops. Sorry, uh... What's the button for... There we go. Okay. We can all go to blah blah blah. Right now I want to focus on surviving our current situation because this is probably the single most crucial moment for, so far for me. Okay. Okay. Goodbye. Well, if that's all... Alright. Let's go and head out who the murder is! Yay! Alright, the blah blah blah. One, two, three, four, five, six. Just the six of us. Three guys, three girls, enough to reproduce the entire population. Okay, that's probably... Uh, I go for Aoi. Uh, I, I think Aoi should go for... Uh, I mean, sorry. I'm going for Aoi. Kyoko and Byakuya might be a good match. And Toko will for every single and Yoshi will... Fuck, I don't know. Uh, in in that dusky darkness, nobody said a word. I, I, I don't care what the hell he does. <laughs> we just stood there, silent and still. I don't think we need Toko reproducing any children here. If we're about to form an established community. After a while, okay. Oh, we get it. We get it. Okay. Menting light, come out forth. And it's time for the light of despair to bring thee to justice. Whoa, this looks very different. All pink and very colorful like. I've been waiting for this. I'd like to. I feel like it's been forever since we got together like this. The time for our pointless jokes and jabs has passed. Let's get on with the show. This looks very. And so the curtain opened for the fifth time. A deadly judgment. A deadly deception. A deadly betrayal. Okay, everything's so deadly. I get it, Makoto. God damn it. Oh, hey, it saves the game. Oh, okay. I should probably keep note of that just in case. Save data here. Oh boy. October 9th. No, clear almost one month after its inception. Holy shit. Okay. Hey, before we do anything, let's set the skills first. We got two? Yes, two. Okay. Increase the focus gauge by two. Effective, effective during class trial. Cost two. Okay. Is that the only one I have or is there something else? Melodist voice, which only which actually costs three, increases the damage of the opponent when a statement is being destroyed. I think focus is more my forte here. All right, and just in case, let me review all the evidence before we actually start this class trial because again, it's been a month since I last played through this. Okay, let's review. Due to the explosion, the victim's identity is unknown, so it's obvious. Okay, so now the Kyoko's here, it's pretty obvious who the victim is. They were, however, dead before the blast. The victim has been stabbed a single time with a knife, which went completely through its body. Okay, now, we need to distinguish two factors here. What killed the body? 
Was it the blast or the knife wound? I feel like it might be the knife wound, considering how, like, how much it was bleeding and how much it stabbed through its abdomen. But, uh, at the same time, the... I don't know, it, there might be, like, a slight chance that the victim might have been still alive and the victim kaboob itself. So... Uh, I don't know. That that could be something that could be uh, continually recorded further, but we will see. Uh, okay, so R does come to the next one. The explosion was burnt. The explosion has burnt the upper half of the body beyond recognition. The upper half of the body remained on fire and had to be extinguished. Because of this, the upper half was soaking wet while the bottom half remained dry. Okay. So okay, yeah. The bottom half remained dry, so we can tell between the boots, the nails, the tattoo, and stuff like that, but we can't distinguish, like, the top part of the body. Uh, oh, why am I doing that? Fake nails! The body was wearing notably long fake nails. Not sure exactly how that's gonna portray into the scene of the crime, but, hey, we'll f figure it out. The body had a tattoo of a dog on the back of the right hand, so this has to be, like, the hint of the, uh, the book from what I remember back in the library or the archive room. There were bits of charred debris near the body. It should be noted that the bomb which had been removed from Mount Kuma in the gym had disappeared. So, chances are this fragment near the dead body might have been the explosion of the bomb. <coughs> Sorry, I almost choked on my spit for a second. The sprinklers are programmed to come every morning at 7.30, and this time is impossible to change. As such, it can be assumed that the body had been in the garden before 7.30. It would have gotten wet. Right, as such, it can be assumed that if the body... Okay, so, it, the, uh, it could have been... You guys could have word that easily by saying, so the body was discovered after 7.30 because it wasn't wet beforehand. The bottom, but the, the bottom part was dry, so... All right. When the body was found... Okay. Wow, that's a lot of shit. Okay. 7 a.m. Makoto wakes up to the morning announcement. 7.30 a.m. Makoto and Aoi arrived in the dining hall. 7.30 to 9 a.m., Makoto meets the others in the gym, and together, they head to the headmaster's room. 9 a.m., Toko is told to find the pickaxe in the garden, where she discovers the body. Okay. Wait, what were, we, what were we trying to distinguish between the pickaxe exactly? Why did we try to go there? Or is, are we trying to break into the headmaster's room, I'm guessing? That's my guess. The knife found near the body was the same knife that was used to stab it before the explosion. All right, hold on. Okay. Same knife near the body was the same knife that was... Sta okay, so it wasn't a planted knife or anything. It is also the same knife that Toko had given to Makoto for safekeeping, and the knife the masked assailant was holding when they attacked Makoto. Okay. The tarp was hidden among the other items in the tool shed. One side was wet and filthy, with mud and grim. The other had been completely clean and dry. Okay. The number of chickens. Oh my god, there's a lot of evidence that some of them might even look circumstantial, but it feels like because they're part of the game, they might actually work around with the trial itself. This is going to be one long fucking trial, I swear to god. Yasuhiro claims that there were no doubt f five chickens before nighttime last night, and yet, there's only four chickens. Okay. The okay, I say that there was no courts in the garden just after nighttime last night, so it can be assumed that the murder must have taken place sometime after that. Biokuya also said that he, Yasuhiro, Toko, and Aoi were in the gym the entire night and none of them were alone at any point. Okay, so. One, two. So yeah, there's four counts. And if they all agree to each other, then yeah, okay. The corpse had a mask covering its head and a white jacket covering the body. A knife had been thrust into the abdomen, and there were no blood stains around the wound. The body had stopped bleeding, but the blood is still wet. It was noted, however, that there was no blood in the ground around the body. Okay, so the body was definitely planted there. So the murder scene might not even been in the uh, garden. It might have been somewhere else. Oh, if that's the case, then if the body... Well, the body was definitely planted there after 7.30 then. But the murder could have taken place beforehand, so who knows. Makuro Ikusaba, female, known as an ultimate soldier, she became she became she became been obs wait what what the fuck? She became been obsessed with the military from a what? Uh, that's a weird. Okay, I think they they made him fuck up there. That that seems like a miss uh, a fragment sensors or something. She became been obsessed. 
she'd been obsessed with the military from a young age, or she became obsessed with the military from a young age. What? She became Ben? She disappeared while on vacation in Europe and reappeared in Japan three J Japan yeah. Japan three years later. Apparently, every member of Fenrir gets a tattoo somewhere on their body that represents their membership in the group. I'm guessing that's where the uh, Ragnarok tattoo comes from, from the dead body. Apparently, the killing game began with 16 participants, all students. It is assumed that Mokuro Ikusaba was the 16th student. Monokuma also revealed that the reason Kyoko wears gloves is to hide something she doesn't want anyone to see. Okay. This wooden block decoration was found in Kyoko's room. It looked like it's actually the key to one of the lockers in the dojo. A set of titanium arrows were found in a dojo locker. There appear to be ten in total. Okay, so... Okay. Bloody duct tape. Okay, so this is where the blood must have come in. Along with the arrows, there were also wadded up balls of duct tape in the locker. The duct tape had traces of blood on it. It is assumed that this is related to the case, but nobody can imagine how. And this is the last one where there was no security cameras or monitors in the second floor. And she has... Okay. Alright then. I think that's all the good reviewing we need, so we'll be right back with the next episode of Danganronpa. Stay tuned.